In today's video, we're going to talk about how to take care of your Bombay cat. Bombay cats were originally a cross between American Shorthairs and Burmese cats. The goal was to get a domestic house cat that looked somewhat like a small panther. It's hard to tell what is more captivating about this beauty, the shiny black coat or the golden eyes. The combination is an absolute marvel. The Bombay cat is muscular, but a deceptively heavy animal. Don't let the small size deceive you as it could weigh up to 6 to 11 pounds and can live up to 12 to 16 years if given proper care. They could be likened to your typical black leopard as the Bombay walk with a sway similar to them. These cats are hardy, and grooming them can be easier than grooming a long-haired cat. They are relatively healthy with a few exceptions. Because they are inquisitive, energetic cats, they do need some stimulation to be happy. Here are some efficient ways on how to take care of your Bombay cat. Grooming your Bombay cat. Brush your Bombay cat on occasion. Bombay cats, with their sleek, soft fur, don't need much brushing. A once a week brushing is more than sufficient. Often, just petting is enough to remove the dead hair and help move oils around. A curry brush is good for this cat. Also, these cats only really need to be bathed when they get into something messy, such as if they go running through the mud outside. Wipe Bombay cat's eyes regularly. The Bombay cat is prone to excessive tearing in the eyes, more so than other breeds. Tears can be irritating, so try to wipe down the corner of your cat's eyes at least once a day. Use a soft cloth dampened with warm water. Clean Bombay cat's ears. Bombays, like all cats, need their ears cleaned regularly. Clean them when you notice a buildup of wax on the inside. Ask your vet for a good cleaner, then use a cotton ball or swab moistened with that cleaner to gently bathe the inside of the cat's ears. Clip Bombay cat's claws. You also need to trim the cat's claws fairly regularly, such as twice a month or more often as needed. You'll notice when they start getting long. They'll be extra sharp, and the cat will keep getting them stuck in things. Start by getting your cat used to having its feet handled and its claws extended. Then get it used to the noise of the clippers. You can practice on a piece of spaghetti with the cat nearby. When it comes time to trim, have the cat in your lap with its head away from you. Lift up one of its paws. Push gently on one of the cat's pads, extending the claw. Before trimming, make sure you can see the quick, the pink nerve and blood vessel inside the nail. Avoid clipping that. Remember your cat may become impatient. You may need to do its nails in more than one session. Brush your Bombay cat's teeth. Brushing your cat's teeth may sound like more than you bargain for when getting a cat. However, clean teeth are essential to a cat's good health, so it's an important step you should take regularly. Start by getting your cat used to the idea. A couple of times a day, lift up the cat's gums and gently rub them with your finger or a piece of gauze. Once your cat seems okay with this step, you can move on to brushing. Use a toothbrush and toothpaste specifically designed for cats. Give your cat a taste of the toothpaste. Apply a small amount to the toothbrush. Using the toothbrush, apply the paste to the teeth, reaching to the teeth in the back. Rub it in gently. While you're brushing, look to see if your cat's gums seem pink and healthy. Also, check for any mouth wounds or broken teeth. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Maintaining your Bombay cat's health. Pick a Bombay cat from a good breeder. If you're getting your cat from a breeder, make sure you choose a good one. The cats should be bred in the person's home and handled often. It can help to visit and see the place, as well as meet the kitten's mom and dad to see what they're like. Ask for references and for a health guarantee in case the cat is born with congenital issues. Watch for breathing difficulties. This cat has a relatively short snout. Because of that, the breed is more prone to problems with breathing, such as brachycephalic airway syndrome. In mild cases, you may notice your cat breathes loudly or snores. In more severe cases, you may notice your cat only breathes through its mouth, tires easily, and may even pass out after playing. If your cat passes out, take it to the vet immediately because it could be more than a breathing issue. It could be a cardiac issue. Home treatments include helping your cat lose weight, keeping your cat inside, particularly when it's hot out, keeping stress down, and discouraging strenuous exercise. Your vet may also give your cat anti-inflammatories, corticosteroids, or oxygen treatments. If the condition is particularly severe, surgery may be needed to correct it. Get regular checkups. Like any cat, Bombay cats should be taken to the vet regularly for checkups, at least once a year. Cats often do not show symptoms of diseases until the diseases are advanced. Checkups help get your cat diagnosed more quickly so that it can be treated. 
For instance, like most cats, Bombay's are susceptible to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is a thickening of the heart walls. However, not all cats show symptoms of this disease, so it always needs to be diagnosed by a vet. Keeping your Bombay cat happy. Provide plenty of engaging toys. Bombay's are smart cats, so they need to be entertained more than some other cats. Have plenty of toys on hand to keep your cat happy, such as puzzle toys and other engaging toys. That doesn't mean you need to spend a large amount of money on toys. Free and cheap items are just as fun for your cat, such as paper bags and cardboard boxes. It's also a good idea to provide places your cat can jump, such as cat trees. Play with your Bombay cat. While your Bombay will likely find ways to entertain itself, it will also enjoy playing with you. In fact, you may even get this cat to play fetch, since it enjoys interactive activities so much. You can also use stick toys with lures or fleece strips on the end to entertain your cat. Give it warm places to snuggle up. Most cats like warmth, but Bombay's are particularly partial to warm spots. Make sure you provide plenty of warm spots, such as cat beds and sunny windows, to help keep your kitty happy. A window is a good idea because they'll also enjoy bird watching, because these cats like warm spots, they'll often crawl under your blanket when you go to bed. Try leash training. Because Bombay's are so smart and engaged, they take more readily to leash training than some other breeds. It's best to start young, though, as the cat will take to training more easily when it is a kitten than when it's older. Cats should only be trained using positive methods so don't punish your cat. Start with just a harness worn while the cat is supervised. A cat can slip out of a collar. Let the cat wear the harness around the house to get used to it, but make sure that you're watching the cat to prevent it from getting injured if the harness gets hung on something. Take the cat outside on short explorations. Stay close to the house at first as it will feel safer. In fact, just hanging out with the cat in the yard will help your cat adjust. Some cats may never get used to being outside. Work up to trying short walks. Remember, your idea of a walk may not be your cat's idea of a walk. When it comes to taking care of them, they don't need that much more attention than other cats. However, feeding them is an exception, because they have a special kind of anxiety and obsession with food that makes them indulge in everything they find. So, it's a good idea to watch their diet and don't leave food out for them all day long. Feed them on a schedule and make sure their food is good quality, low in fat, and high in nutrients. If you love cats, but you want one that's affectionate and sociable, the Bombay cat might be perfect for you. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.